All right. Put your arm down. All right. All right. So what I want to do now is just talk to Tomomi a little bit. I've known you for a long time, but uh, but yeah. definitely we don't uh, we haven't chatted too much. Only about technical things. And so I was super you know interested in just hearing a little bit more about you, hearing your story, but. Uh, <laughs> One of the things I did want to start with, which, yeah. which I already know a little bit about, but one of these passions that you really have, maybe you can tell folks about, uh, about that. About cats? Yes, of <laughs> course. <laughs> I think I'm really known as a, a cat lady over the internet. So I actually only have one cat now. I used to have more, but you know, the cats don't live long, so I lost one cat like a few months ago, now I have one. But anyways, so uh, as you notice, uh, all of my, so I've been speaking at a conference in like many places for years, and my slides always come with cat photos. And when I don't have enough cat photos, people tweet and uh, complain about, oh, I didn't see enough cat photos and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, that's probably because a lot of people know me from some unintended fame I have created by myself, which was like, I think three, four years ago. I was really bored, so I was collecting all the cat photos from everywhere on the internet, and I just slapped in some um, HTTP status code, like 404 and stuff like that, with cat photo. So I, <laughs> I transformed cats into HTTP error codes. And that made a huge, like it gave me a huge 15 minutes of fame, and I think a lot of people still recognize me from that, the fame that I kind of want to forget about it already because people keep talking about it. <laughs> so, so do you have either a, a favorite cat that you've had in your life or maybe a favorite photo of the HTTP status codes? Tell us about it. Actually, well, yeah, the, some of the status code had my own cats in it, but my favorite cat photo these days, uh, a tackle cat, it's not my cat, it's just Tackle Cat. You know, yeah. if you read it backwards, still it's Tackle Cat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's ceiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so. So, so, Tomomi, I know, you know, you came from a far away away. And maybe you can tell folks kind of how you got to the Bay Area and a little bit about that journey and what, uh -huh. what brought you here. So, um, I came to Bay Area uh, 10 years ago. So, uh, Actually, that time I was in Boston, so I moved from Boston. But previously, I mean, originally I'm from Japan, actually. But I've been moving around, and I was in Boston before. And, uh, you know, I didn't really have a real job. You know, that was like, what, after 2001 or so, the dot-com busted, and there's no tech job. And in Boston, I really didn't have a great, you know, career. So I just decided to move to Bay Area 10 years ago. But actually, it's kind of crazy. So that time, I was broke. I didn't have money. So um, I decided to sell my Apple stock. And that time, you know how much <laughs> I sold up the Apple stock was for? <laughs> 50. Probably not one of the best decisions <laughs> of your life. Yeah. I'm really good at not being rich. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's funny actually. So I, like I said earlier at my talk, uh, I used to be a really huge Mac fan girl. Yeah. So uh, I think in the early 2000s, or maybe even 90s, everybody thought Apple was going to go out of business. So we community wanted to support Apple by buying stock. So yeah. I bought at 25 a share at that time. So, well, the toy so it sounds stock. like at least you made out okay. Something. So I but, had enough uh, money to move here. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? The first company I interviewed when I moved here was... Apple. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so I had a really strange, you know, sure. <laughs> thing so, with Apple. So you came out to the Bay Area, didn't yeah. have a job, mm -hmm. but I know that's not the case today. I know today you've got a, a great job at PubNub, and maybe you can talk a little bit about what you do mm -hmm. at work and, and what your role is there. So um, my role is uh, it's a developer evangelist. So what the company PubNub does is uh, we do a, it's called data stream network. It's probably not really familiar with everybody, but basically it's real-time connection. So we take care of the backend, like um, infrastructure for the, all the real-time communications. So I'm writing a bunch of blogs. Mostly, well, it's a, writing blog is not the only things I do, but I think it's most visible things I do. So if you go to pubnub.com slash blog, and you'll find a lot of stuff I wrote. Yeah. 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 So, so PubNub is one of those things that, for me, that I, mm -hmm. I feel passionate about, that uh, the great success of PubNub, I, I kind of feel like I had something to do with, even though I didn't really. Mm -hmm. So years ago, I did the, uh, I helped with the due diligence 
that mm -hmm. uh, helped them get their initial funding. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Awesome. <laughs> so I guess we're out of time. Okay. I wish we had more, t more questions. Yeah. But uh, thanks, everybody, on the live stream, and thanks, everybody, in the room. And hopefully right. you get to learn a little bit about Tomomi. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. All right, thank you.